I'm loving Reesville. I have a lot of great friends here, professional colleagues here. But, you know, down east, um, Rock, the Rocky Mount area is somewhat home to me. The opportunity to get back close to family was first and foremost um, a part of my decision. But it's not because he's unhappy leading the police department of this city, where I met him for the first time just months after he got the job in 2014. What is so appealing to you about this town? Well, the vibrant downtown, the very nice and cordial, polite hometown people here. Among other reasons, the city hired Hassel to bring stability to its police department, which had just gone through three chiefs in two years. And stability has been a constant during his time here. The police department still has about 50 sworn officers and an annual budget of about $5 million. But not all things are the same. What is the biggest crime-related challenge there in Reedsville right now? I would probably, you know, would say property crime, you know. Um, and larcenies. Larcenies, thefts. Um, but then, you know, I, I would say, you know, overdoses, so drugs. We didn't even um, talk about that last time. We didn't. Um, that has been, that has come um, more to the forefront and on my agenda over the last few years. In fact, the drug problem's gotten so bad, officers carry the opioid overdose reversal drug Narcan in their cars. Hessel also established a post-overdose response team, or PORT, seen here during its virtual meetings. This team's involved with every overdose call, meeting the victim at home, and, among other things, linking him or her with services in the community that can help. Since July of 2020, of the 20 overdose calls Reedsville police have worked and the teams responded to, five people have accepted assistance. Not a large number, but... Even if one person accepted help, I think it's a success because that's one person who now is on a path of recovery. While the drug problem is a challenge for just about every police department, Reedsville police don't share another challenge common among law enforcement agencies. It involves the department's relationship with the community. It's an issue of the deaths of George Floyd and others and the recent outcome of the Derek Chauvin trial thrust into the national spotlight. Do the people of Reedsville trust their police department? Do the citizens trust the Reedsville Police Department? Yes, overwhelmingly. In fact, not long after Hassel took office, the police department surveyed people in Reedsville and asked that very question. 95% responded favorably. But we still wanted to make sure that 5% that may not have trusted us as much, we worked very hard to reach out to them. It's among the reasons the chief created what he calls CALM, short for Community Advocates, Leaders, and Ministers, which before COVID met for regular roundtables in an effort to foster a better community police relationship. What has been your greatest accomplishment as chief? What are you most proud of? I think my biggest um, accomplishment would be the strong relationships I have been able to build, build with our youth, with our seniors, with the community as a whole, to include um, our business community, our downtown um, businesses, together with the men and women who proudly wear this badge. We have built strong alliances and relationships with, with our community, and I'm very proud of that.